Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Lunch Break with Shell. I'd like to thank you so very much for joining me today in this for this edition of Stamp with Shell. My name is Shell Anderson and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator located in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Canada. I can be found on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram under Stamp with Shell, on Pinterest under Shell Loves to Stamp. I blog daily at Shell's Creative Corner blogspot.com and I can be reached anytime by email at andersonshell at gmail.com. If you live in Canada and you do not currently have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. Note that I have weekly workshop orders that go in Mondays at 9 a.m. Okay friends, that's all the business. Now let's get started on today's card. Today I am featuring the Happy Hedgehogs Bundle. This is a new bundle that is coming out in the January to June mini catalog and it is a punch bundle and it has this fabulously cute little um, stamp set and the coordinating punch of course. So we are going to get started. For our card today I have chosen a grey granite card base. And I've also chosen a very neutral background piece of DSP. For the inside of our card, I have um, actually two pieces. I only need one. For the inside of our card, I have some basic white cardstock. And we're just going to put that right inside the card now so that we will have a beautifully nice place to write our greeting. And I'm also going to take this DSP and pop this right on the front of the card. So, so far it's a pretty somber looking card, but we are going to dress that up with color. That is for sure. I have a three and a quarter by three and a quarter piece of um, DSP and a two and three quarter by two and three quarter piece of basic white which I have stamped the greeting finding a friend is the best discovery of all in real red ink and I'm just going to layer these two together and center that up the very best that I can all right and this is going to be put right fair at the top here just trying to make my borders the same on each side and the top and this one's quite helpful because the dots were able to help me on this card all right so we have our card base all set I have pre-stamped and pre-colored some of the images but I have not done our little um, hedgehog. So this guy I am going to do in light gray granite and I am just going to fill the white areas in and I think I'm going to do his belly lighter. I don't want them to be too dark. I just don't know what color. Maybe I'll do his legs and underbelly darker. Look at that, a three-legged hedgehog. <laughs> um, now let's go for, I don't know whether crumb cake is going to be too dark. No, I don't think so. This is light crumb cake. So we will just lay that color on there. And I'm going to go over this granite one more time, 
just roughly to give it some depth. Uh, I'm not going to do a second coat on his legs though. Alright, so now we can bring in our punch and we can put this little guy right in and punch him out. Well, maybe we can. There we go. Giving me some grief. My paper must be bent in this corner because it doesn't want to go into the punch rate. There we go. All right. We'll play it your way. We'll cut that corner off so it's not bent. Sorry, I was off camera there for a minute. I think that looks pretty good. It did until I moved. All right, there is our cute little hedgehog. All right, now I have, there's two punches in here. There's the whole hedgehog and then there's the hedgehog back. I punched a whole bunch of them out in um, a pair of pizzazz and then I just took a sponge and I inked them and I'm going to use them for grass like grassy knolls and I'm just going to cut you'll notice the shape of those there I'm just going to cut them off and nobody will be any the wiser This is a fairly simple card, but there was quite a bit of stamping and coloring. So I thought, you know, I think maybe I'll do a little bit of that prep work ahead of time. There we go. Let's get all these bits out of here. All right, so my plan is that we are going to build a scene right like so. I got a little edge on this one I have to take off that I missed. And then, so I think I'll put those three in, just like so. And I'm going to glue those flat. And I just want to make sure that I cover the bottom corner so that the blue doesn't show through. If you know what I mean? So I think I'm, what I'm going to do is do both sides and then I'll fill in the middle with the other one. And then, I think, check that out. That's pretty cool. I think we're going to grab this little grass stamp and we're going to stamp some grass. And let me grab a small block and the pear pizzazz ink. So we're going to put this little guy here, but I want some little detail grass. So we'll put one there, one there, and one there. And then this little guy can go in here on dimensionals and so I need to grab some dimensionals again and 
will flip him over. Now, I'm wondering if I should continue with my grass. Maybe I should put one more in here before I put him on. I think I will. And then I will pop him in here. And then those dimensionals aren't going to interfere with the rest of my grass. Or maybe they will. Okay, let's get some adhesive on the back of this. And we will continue our scene. <laughs> and to go down to cover that blue. And I have one more piece. And I will kind of stick in like so. All right. Now I'm going to put a couple little more sprouts of grass here and there. And I think that will do that. Now I've pre done some of these mushrooms. Oh, I think I like that. All right, I'm going to put this with some adhesive on this one and we'll glue this one in place. There we go. And then we'll do the same with this one. And kind of layer them a little wee bit and we'll just tilt them as we need them tilted and we'll put one over here on this side like so and slide this in behind but over there. Isn't that cool? All right, I think I'm gonna take this little guy here and put him on the inside of the card. Right down here at the bottom. There we go. And then I've got this little butterfly I'm not happy with the way this is happening. This is too high. There we go. There we go. It was interfering with the words and I didn't like that. So now I have this little guy. I think I'm going to put this little guy up here in the corner. Just like that. But I'm going to get a mini dimensional to put him on. Just like, get off my finger, oops, just like so. How cute is that? There's only one thing I wished I had done is I wish I had to put a ribbon across this panel. I really do, because it would look really sharp with a ribbon down here. Well, we can't do that unless, what have I got here for ribbon? I 
front of this. Ooh, it's even got the st stitching in it. I wonder if I have any sticky strip that's super, super thin. Let me look in my stash. <laughs> I don't think glue dots will hold it. Oh, I do too. This is a blast from the past. Hope it's still sticky. I don't think glue dots would hold this in place right. Oh, it is nice and sticky. All right, I am going to Flip this ribbon over and attach this to the back side. And then I'm going to snip this off. I'm going to put that back in the bag because it's nice and sticky. I guess it's probably because the air hasn't gotten to it. All right. Now I need to cut this so that it is the right size. How well did I do? Look at that! Woohoo! All right. Now, let's see if I can get it down straight. Because this is going to be a one shot deal, my friends. Not too shabby. There we go. Now, I don't know whether I want a bow or not. We can try it. And if we don't like it, we just don't put it on. Here's that bow maker tool. I love the blue, the balmy blue and the red together. It's going to look nice if it's going to be too big. What do you think? What do you think? I think it's okay. It would be fine without as well. Or do we just want to not? Because we could do that too with this little piece of leftover. Oh, it'd be nice if I had the tails the same length. We could take that and just do a little knot on there. Knot or a bow? I think a knot. Now if I had a glue dot we would be smiling. And I'm just going to pop that right in the middle on a jaunty little angle. There we go, my friends. That is our Happy Hedgehog Bundle card. And very very simple the only time consuming thing was was the coloring of the images how cute is that now this bundle is found on page 64 of the mini catalog and the inspiration for this card 
was found on page 79 of the mini catalog. So check that one out. All right, my friends, that's it for today. Thanks for stopping by for Lunch Break with Shell. Bye-bye.